Hi everyone. Today we're going to learn how to use ArcGIS. Uh, GIS stands for Geographic Information Systems, and it's sort of a fancy name for uh, for digital mapping. Uh, but it does more than just uh, allow you to make a map on a computer. And it's a great piece of software for manipulating maps and uh, being able to do so many additional functions that you wouldn't typically be able to do on, for instance, a Google map. So uh, where we find this great software, it's right up here in our external tools. So log into the class website, click on external tools, and you'll see the number one uh, external app is ArcGIS. When you click on it, it's going to take you to this little uh, splash page here. And if District School Board of Niagara is not written in here, but instead there's a little box, uh, you will type in D S B N I A G. A R A. Don't forget there's three A's in Niagara. So DSB Niagara, all one word. Um, and then check off the remember me box and then uh, proceed to the next thing. And hopefully it'll take you to this. Um, this is uh, our version of uh, this uh, software package. And when you're in here, you get lots and lots of tools. Now, when you first come in, it's probably going to throw you into your profile page. So it's going to look something like this. So, um, but it'll still have the toolbar on the top. All right. So, so don't worry about what's on the main screen here. It's the toolbar on the top. What we want to do is click on map to get started with a new map. So it's a bit of a dull, uh, uh, opening splash page here. Uh, so let's learn about some of the tools here. First of all, your roller ball on your mouse will allow you to pan out or to zoom in. So, um, and the map will adjust uh, if you give it a few moments. Um, you can also use the plus minus keys here in order to, uh, to zoom in or to pan out. Uh, it will also go to a specific location. If I type 535 Lake Street, which I would like you to do, Lake Street, St. Catharines. Remember how to spell St. Catharines. We've got two A's in it. You'll see that it comes up here. You just click on it, and it'll take you to the school. Now, what I want you to do, you'll see this little pop-up here, is to click on Add to Map Notes. It's really important that you do that. Otherwise, your tools will not appear up here. If you don't see an edit, uh, button. It's because you haven't added this to map notes. You'll notice now I've got an edit button up here. So by putting that little marker on there, I've got my tools that I'll be able to use. And um, if I need to bring this back up, I can just click on the magnifying glass again. And there's my little pop up. Now you'll notice that this is not a very exciting map in school. So what we can do is we can change the base map. Uh, to, for instance, imagery with labels. So now we can see the school parking lot. We can see our classroom, which is right here. I can even click on the little marker and drag it. Oh, if I click on edit, I can drag the markers and put it somewhere else. We're going to go for a simple light gray canvas uh, base map uh, for this exercise. All right, so pan out so you can see the whole country. And what we're going to do now is to add some layers. Now, before we add any layers, let's save our map before disaster strikes. So I'm going to click on Save, Save. Don't ever use Save As. Uh, it, just suffice to say, it causes problems. So simply click Save. If you've never saved the map before, um, it'll ask you, well, what do, you, what do you want to call this? So we're going to call this Political Map of Canada. And we're going to add a tag, Canada. If you don't add a tag, um, it's not going to let you save the map. So if I do this, it's going to say error. All right. So I got to give it a tag. It's just basically organizing all your files. Now, you don't have any file folders. I have file folders. Uh, don't worry about that. Click save. So we want to find a layer that uh, is going to show us all the provinces. So up here, you'll see the Add button. When I click on Add and search for layers, it's going to look through all of the layers that I have made in my content. You haven't made anything. So uh, we don't want to look in my content, but instead look on ArcGIS Online. Now, uh, 
if you do a search and you can't find anything, it's probably because you haven't switched this to ArcGIS Online. So make sure you do that step. So let's do our search here. Canada, provinces. Make sure you spell it correctly. If you don't spell it correctly, it's not going to find them. So we're just going to click the little Add button here, and voila, it's going to draw all the provinces on our map. So it's pretty boring. I don't like the single color for everything. So I want to click on details, and that's going to show us the layers that we have. Um, if it's not showing the layers, just click on content, and it should list all the layers. And then when I click on the actual layer name, provinces and territories, you'll see this little drop down menu, and you'll see here it says change style. If I click on that, what it's going to allow me to do is change it from just showing one color for all locations to a unique color for each English name. So if I click on that, you'll notice the map changes, but we need to do a little bit more manipulation here. So under types, uh, unique symbols, click on options, and we want to ungroup uh, these three so that each province has a unique color. We can also get fancy here. I'm going to click on uh, the color for Ontario, and I'm going to fill it with a dark red color. So voila, uh, I've got a slightly different, unique color scheme. Down here, uh, once you are finished that, make sure you click OK and Done. If you don't, it won't keep your changes. Remember to save on a regular basis. This is not a Google Doc. If you don't save, it's not going to keep your uh, changes. So let's go Save, Save. Don't click Save As. Let's find a new layer. So the next one we want to find is Canadian Capital Cities. So we're going to change this to Canadian Capital Cities. And be careful. Uh, these are not all capital cities, but this one by Ontario Admin, it's a good one. So click on it. And while we're here, we're going to also find Great Lakes. And this one right here by Sparksa. Click on the little add button and it's going to make nice, beautiful blue colored uh, lakes. So uh, we've added our capital cities. Let's go in and manipulate them. So click on details and we're going to click on the Canadian capital uh, layer to make it active. And the first thing we want to do is click on these three little dots here. And that'll allow us to remove something if we don't want that layer. Maybe we added the wrong layer and we want to get rid of it uh, we could click on remove uh, we can rename it to something else in this case we want to create labels so when we create create labels you'll notice that all of the uh, the capitals will be labeled if they're too close together they won't be labeled but if i zoom in you'll see that the labels now appear <clears throat> click ok now we want to change the symbol. So uh, click on change style here and under uh, location, click on options. And you'll see this uh, symbol right now is just a boring dot. And you can change it to anything in here. You can even change it to, you know, for instance, there's, you know, people in places, there's, they've got all sorts of neat symbols in here. But make sure it's something appropriate. Um, you know, for instance, this would be a good choice. Uh, but don't take the toxic waste symbol or something along that line. Increase the uh, symbol size to at least 20. I don't think you'll see it if it's anything smaller than that. So there we go. We've got all of our, um, our cities labeled uh, with nice symbol. So uh, let's start adding some features of our own. So map notes here uh, we're going to rename this i'm going to first of all click on the layer and then on the three dots and we're going to rename this to um, extra features and you'll notice that if i uncheck this box it's going to uh, you'll see uh, st catherine's down here it's going to disappear if i uncheck it and reappears if i add it so um if you can turn layers on and off by simply checking uh, the boxes. So let's click Edit. And on here, by the way, if you don't see Edit, you didn't add uh, the school here. So search for this, add uh, that, and your tools will appear. So let's click on the up arrow. We're going to click and drag. And it's going to create a nice little arrow. Click on Change Symbol. 
so that we can fill it with a dark color and outline it with black. I like to uh, make the line width about a four. And now I've got a nice north arrow here. Now we should put the letter N underneath it. So you'll see this little tiny text tool here. Click on text and then click on the map and put the letter N. Now it's really small, so we've got to click on it again. And if we drag, we can make it bigger and we can also move it by clicking on it again and moving it around. So <laughs> we want to uh, label our Great Lakes and we want to label all of our provinces. So let's zoom into our Great Lakes to begin with. So you can use your text tool and simply click on the Great Lake and put L period superior and then click on the text tool again and go L Michigan, etc. So make sure that you label each one of the Great Lakes, and I would like you to also label each one of the provinces. So British Columbia. And you can click on it and move it so that it's inside the province. Now, for the very small ones here, you're going to have to zoom in. All right, so when I click on here for Prince Edward Island, All right, so you'll notice that um, it's nicely labeled, but as I pan out, um, it's going to be a little <laughs> unwieldy, but um, when I zoom in, it should be properly labeled, all right? So don't worry if you pan out and it looks a little weird. Um, what I'll end up doing is zooming in to see if, uh, if you've labeled it correctly. I don't mind if you use um, initials for any of the Atlantic provinces, so NB for New Brunswick, and S for Nova Scotia, PEI for Prince Edward Island, but all other provinces, like for instance, British Columbia, sh should be the full name British Columbia, not BC. Don't forget we have three territories. Make sure that they are also labeled. When you're finished, I want you to click on the share button and I want you to check off District School Board of Niagara. All right, it's going to take a moment, but you'll see that uh, it's sort of adjusted there. And now we've got this link. We want to copy that link. Go done. And this is the most important thing. You need to save again. If you don't save again, then um, you're not going to be able to... Um, which we'll call it, uh, it's not going to keep the share settings and I'll need your password in order to, uh, to get into your map. So make sure that you have uh, shared it, copy the link, save it again, and then you're going to go back to the class website into assignments and find the political map of Canada assignment and uh, paste it in there. I'm just going to go to this other Dropbox right now. Uh, where is it? I'm going to go into this Eden Community Land app. And, oh, see, I, I'm not in student mode, so I won't be able to see it. But anyway, when you click on the Dropbox, you're just going to scroll down to the empty box and paste it in there and submit. All right, so uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a shout. Otherwise, good luck.